a fresh wipe on day Z. It's a very chaotic time, loads of full squads aiming to dominate a server with sheer numbers and PvP skills. It's a tough time, especially for a solo. Even though it would be difficult, this adventure wasn't full of all that many failures. No, in fact, this was a full story of success, and quite possibly my best solo run on this game in all of my hours of playing it. It's a rather unique experience too, most of my gunfights would be located in areas you normally don't go to, and if you do, you rarely ever find players. But for all this to make sense, we'll have to head back to the very beginning of the wipe, spawning on the coast with absolutely nothing. We're back. Fresh wipe on basically vanilla. We're just going to get geared as fast as possible. Um, I do have a few ideas of where I want to build, what I want to do this wipe, but it's going to be entirely solo, which is very difficult, especially on a fresh wipe. We're just going to go out and try to fight steal some loot from other people that are probably doing the looting as well. Let's go. Let's go. As you can tell, we spawned near Berezino. I looted a few industrials as I made my way out of town, but on this server you started out with enough food to just start running north. My first stop was a small summer camp just above the town in hopes of finding a 308 rifle so I could begin this snowball. Hoping nobody's here. Puffy jacket. I mean, I'll take it. Uh, somebody looted it. Huh? Somebody left three to the O to the A? Definitely not the best start, but with some bullets now, I could hopefully find a weapon at the next summer camp. And within a few minutes, I had arrived there. Don't know why, but I always start with this big cabin in these places. It never gives me anything. I guarantee somebody's already looted the ever-living shit out of this place. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Again, not much luck. Aside from a PU scope and some better clothing, I came out pretty empty-handed. Castles spawn Winchesters and scopes, so devils would have to be my salvation now. Definitely could be somebody here, but we gotta risk it. Oh my god. Well, there you go. With weapons for PvP in order, I only had a few more places to look for loot, and I was just about to strike gold. Scar H mag. Oh, level three, level three key card. Right, so we have a Tissy key card already. Finally, I had an objective. After finishing up at Devil's Castle, I began to make my way toward Tissy. But first, I thought I'd stop off at Zabrudno just to see if there was anybody around. Oh, shit, there's a guy. He saw me. Damn. Oh, bro got me low too. I really almost died to an MP5 at that distance. After making sure this player had no friends in the area, I looted his corpse for anything useful and moved out to the woods to regen some health. And after a little bit of waiting around, I moved in towards Tissy. We're like a thousand meters away from the vault, so I'm thinking we make a stash here, then just grab the key card and we'll take that with us. Ah, more waiting around. I did happen to notice that the toxic zone was only covering a portion of Tissy, and I was able to actually pick up a new primary with a lot more ammo while looting. And within a few more minutes, the gas was cleared up around the vault, and I was able to move in. That's all I got? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Dude, bruh, I'm out. I'm going back to stash, dude. That is the worst thing. Well, that could have gone better. With a honey badger as my only takeaway from the vault, I wasn't all that happy, but I returned to my stash and began to hunt for the final few bits of building supplies I needed to start my base in the nearby town of Star ER. Man, there's so many generators around. There's like no nails or anything. I mean, we're right here, so I may as well go to Star ER. Uh, people always come here for bases, though. Always building this industrial. 
Okay, the fact that these are all open and pretty much lootless is kind of concerning. I'm wondering if there's already a group here. Definitely pick this place clean, that's for sure. Ooh, okay. I need a code lock, nails, rope, two things, a wire, a flag. I need a lot of stuff. Like I was juiced. Okay, we can make a stash. <laughs> Don't think that was the same guy. Do not think that was the same guy at all. Bro, this thing is incredibly good. I was complaining before, but that was like, what, two, three rounds? This was definitely not the same player, but he had a few notable tools like a hacksaw and shovel, also night vision and a few weapons, so since I was a solo player with almost everything I needed, I ran back to my stash and heard this guy's teammate angry in the distance. All right, I think we're gonna have to leave the 74U here. That is an M4. I'm gonna dip, I'm gonna dip. As a solo, you gotta know when to leave. You gotta know when to leave, man. There's definitely more. Cause yeah, that was not the same guy. The guy I saw had a Alice bag. Only missing a few items, I left the area. Looting a few towns along the way towards Fetlow, I was on a major luck streak as I found nails, a code lock, a flag, and everything else I'd need at least to secure a single gate and the beginnings of the flag. This is when I first found myself in the town of Karmanovka, just northwest of Svetlo. Okay, plank pile, that's nice. There's a fuck, there's three of them, bro. Hmm, I gotta decide on a building now. Could do that piano house or the fortress. I'm trying to think of something that I can just do one gate for the time being and be fine, be sealed off. I might do the piano building really close to the, all these like plank piles so it'll be easy little did i know at the time but this would become our inner loot room a base i had no idea would expand as much as it inevitably would but let's not get too far ahead of ourselves here for the time being i began to gather logs planks and rocks as well as a sea chest everything i would need to end up securing this building So, uh, we ran out of nails, so we couldn't finish this wall. That's cool. At least it's blocked a bit. We did manage to get the sea chest over here. The sledgehammer and the um, pickaxe are ruined. Went through that one sharpening stone really quick. Yeah, but we do have a gate. I needed more tools to finish the flag off as well as nails. So I left my new starter base in search of just that. And what I found may just be the start of a rather big issue for me in the early days of this adventure. Uh, okay. Badly damaged. I think that's the one I dropped from earlier. Not gonna help me much. Unless I get a sharpening stone. Oh. Okay. That dude was just hiding in there. Heard my footsteps. Tried to jump me with a knife. Or you was AFK, came back at the right time. <laughs> you may be asking yourself, how was that an issue? You just got a gun rack kit and an easy kill. Well, yes, but this was only a few meters from my base, and I was the only base in town, meaning this guy had definitely got a new raid target, and if for some reason he had a larger group, they were going to begin building nearby. So I ran back to base quickly and placed my new piece of storage before heading right back out over to the Novod Industrial, only a few hundred meters away for what would hopefully be more nails. Definitely going to be dudes down here building bases. Running around looking for supplies just like me, 100%. Oh. 
that may be enough to get me the stones I need with the other one that's badly damaged, but I need nails. That was a car that just drove by, bro. I see him down there. Do we think he'll come back? He could be just picking up his friend. Bruh. If he's just picking up his friend, and I snipe them on the way back over. I noticed a black sedan making its way towards Fett from Nova, and was hoping that it would just drive back up the northern highway with a new fresh spawn that they had just picked up. So I positioned myself in a tree overlooking the stretch of road and waited. And waited, and waited some more. We were around 20 minutes into waiting, and I just couldn't sit there any longer. Unfortunately, the car had made it by, and that's when I started to run back to base for a quick loot depot. Alright, looks like these guys just aren't coming back this way. Oh, I sat there for a while. I wanted it. <laughs> I wanted that ambush, man. Not even the car, just... Couple of kills, probably a bunch of nails, who knows what else. Bro is camping me. No way. That's the same guy. Bro, that is the same guy. This very same player from before had probably been waiting here for a long time. Just sat right in front of my gate, waiting for me. As I said before, this is a big issue. I needed nails to finish off my flag still, so I quickly took all of this player's loot and stashed it away inside, before again leaving in search of nails towards the northeast airfield. Alright, I think we should get out of here. Uh, airdrop at the airfield, so... Could just come down here. What started as a simple run towards the airfield for an airdrop quickly changed upon arriving there. Oh, it looks like it's been looted, probably. There's dead zombies at it. Probably somebody up in ATC. No way. After finding a box of nails, it completely changed my plan. I immediately ran back to base and began to gather all of the stones I would need for the base of my flag. Once that was complete, I got the rest of the materials for the finished product and completed the wall in my main loot room. You see, my day one experience was over. With a lot of hours already put in, I decided to hop off and start fresh the following morning. Day two is a vital part of the adventure. Up until this point, I hadn't really seen any bases or large groups in my area but that was all about to change, and I'd begin to realize my full situation and how surrounded I really was. Oh, thank God. Okay, cool. Um, we're not raided. <laughs> thank God. We're gonna get out of here. We gotta get more nails today, and then set up another gate. With the luck of finding nails at the airfield the prior day, that's the first place I went to to start this one off with. Alright, we've arrived. Do we check the same little shack over here? See if there's nails. Would be nice. But I've got to loot. I've got to get a plate carrier, man. I need a vest, something. Beers. This time I wasn't so lucky. So I entered the rather quiet airfield looting around various barracks and medical tents and seemed to never find a better vest. That is, until I spotted a lone player from the top of the ATC. Well, there's a guy. Looks a little undergeared to be honest with you, but could have nails. I feel bad, but at the same time he had a stab vest, and that's better than mine. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna go for it. Once I grabbed this player's vest, I left with everything I had gathered, and on my return trip I started hearing shots that would later add up to the discovery of my real situation on the server. I'm hearing shots over at Novod. That's where that car came from earlier, too. You know what? I bet you there's a base. I might just depot this. The few guns that I have. It's also shots. What is that? Svet? Yeah, dude. I might just depot loot at base and then go into Novod and look around for bases. Just check it out. See what's going on. After quickly dropping off loot at my base, I made my way out. First looting my town for potential nails, but was coming across fully looted sheds and not many supplies at all. 
Seems like somebody is just looting through my town. Like all the industrials are just pretty much empty. That's all I got. So I feel like it could be that one rodent I just kept camping. Well, camped once and also was camping in a random shed, but yeah. There's a tent in there. Somebody took the Novod Tower, huh? Interesting. I'm gonna go check that out in a second. This is interesting right here. I don't think you can squeeze through that, but got the little bottom section walled off, I guess. Wonder how many gates they've got up top. And it looks like these guys have just been looting Novod. I'm assuming they're the same ones that are looting my town too. This was the first large base I came across, the Novod Tower. Typically when a large group takes this place over, well, you know what they're gonna be enjoying, a bit of roof camping. It's never a great sign, but I took note of the base and continued looting around, finding that Novod was stripped clean of all building materials. And as soon as I left, I began to find all of the materials I would need, from code locks to wire. It was weird. Novod seemed to be completely looted and controlled. And if I couldn't secure nails soon, my base wasn't going to last very long. Base there. Oh, this is n Oh shit, this is new. Trees are knocked down right there. Not only the Novod Tower, but also the barns above Severograd. These groups were taking all of my vital supplies and leaving me in a situation of desperation. All the way into the night, I looted building after building and eventually found what I was looking for. You see, fortifying my base was the only option if I was going to survive the night. So I went back again after taking note of the Severograd base for further investigation later on. Back in Karmanovka, I was rushing to get another gate complete. I had an uneasy feeling about all of this, like maybe the rat was part of that big group in the tower. What if they were just grinding for raid equipment right now and I was about to get raided? Once I had another gate up, I ran back to the occupied territory in Severograd. That barn base wasn't the only one nearby. Tree knocked down right here. Oh. Oh. Bro. This is a big group. This has got to be a big group. Is that a car tent in there? One down. I had to take that shot. It was too free. Too free. Didn't look like he had a ton on him. He didn't even have a plate carrier, I don't think. Sharpening stone I'll take. For a while I spent time trying to get on the roof or make it through a window, but there weren't any weaknesses I could find. So instead of hanging around, I decided to go investigate the area around Novod Tower next. Maybe, just maybe, I could catch them online finally and get more gear before going back to Depot. We're only 500 meters from base. There's no storage anywhere. I mean, I could put the guns away, but I kind of want to check this out. Bro, that is the tower. No way. Novod Tower camping, huh? That's crazy. That is crazy. He is dead. Another suppressor? Yeah. Wow. And he sent his boy out with an AK too. Jeez, bro. Tower campers? Really? Well, I think they're gonna lose that loot because reset is in two minutes. Yeah. And if I just hold it, I'm not gonna be able to strip his body. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. I hit him in the leg. Bro, he's saving his loot. I broke his leg. No. <laughs> Come on. I bet that guy got in. Maybe just before me. Ooh. I think I might have killed him there. To be honest with you, I think that actually killed him. dead. Another one in there. There was a guy out here with an AK too. So he could be kind of running over to my location right now. With so much happening in a short period of time, let's recap all of this. For starters, we had found the location of three major bases. The Novod Tower, which we just confirmed were roof campers the large school base which was under construction currently, and the newly formed barn base, both of which were in Severograd not far away. Large groups all to my southwest, and with a killing blow to many members of the closest group, that feeling of unease was hitting strong at this point. I left the area and headed home for a loot depot and logged off with my most valuable items, leaving only a small amount of tools behind. I didn't want to give any of these groups anything valuable if they did choose to raid me. Day three of this adventure is again a very vital day to this video. I logged on to check my base out. No. No, oh, you've got to be kidding, bro. They tried to despawn my sheet metal. Bro, this literally just happened. Okay. I had made a big move, and some may say it was a mistake by taking on those roof campers in Novod. Yes, they broke through my two gates, but I logged off with everything I needed to make another one. So they managed to take my honey badger and a gun rack, but that's pretty much all they got. I immediately got to work by gathering planks and nails off of the back wall of my base, and built the gate at the bottom of the stairs of my compound. You see, as I was doing this, I kept thinking about how I would possibly, as a solo player, gather enough resources to make an unraidable base out of this building. Something even these large groups wouldn't be able to break through. Well, I had a lot of work ahead of me, but this wasn't going to happen again. Oh wow, okay. So, yeah, we're gonna need a bit more nails now so we can finish off these walls again, um, as well as that one back there. But at least we've got one gate. I guarantee we know who did it, so. I placed a marker on our new enemy group and moved straight towards them. I wanted to see if they were still doing the usual roof camping and maybe, just maybe, I could get a little bit of revenge. Yep, they've got walls now, like right up there. That's their main loot room right there. There's no helis on this server, so there's no way I can get up top and do anything. Gotta go through the bottom. No, no way are they sniping again from their base. Okay. okay, that guy just went inside. He was reloading. These guys just roof camp, bro. That's all they do. This is all they do. He's dead. That kill felt good. I know I could never be 100% sure these guys were responsible for my base being raided, but I had a fairly good argument that they did do it. And after discovering a single gated base with no flag in the industrial near me, I moved out towards Severograd to investigate the other two bases that were there.
Ooh, little SKS. Oh my god, dude, is it the school base? Or it's the barn? A few more shots would be great. Come on, it can't be over that quick, right? Unless it was just a little, little one-off. Oh yeah. Are they getting raided? Or is that just them running around their base? They're going straight back to the school. Why is he turning around? Oh, there's a third! This guy's like splitting off from the group. How'd that not hit him? He doesn't know where it's coming from. With a few misses and tracking this player and his friends through the woods, I realized the need to back off. They would have pushed me and I would have been down a kit that at the time I couldn't replace because I had been raided. So I looped around the quarry and ran off towards the northwest airfield for what I was hoping would be replacement kits. And along the way I ran into more and more bases, marking them down as I went for potential profit raids in the future. Oh, base here. This base had a lot of promise, a piece of storage and bags that more than likely were filled with ammo and weapons from the airfield. If I was ever lucky enough to find something to raid with, I'd be back here right away. But for the time being, I looted for armor and weapons at the airfield, finding multiple plate carriers and rifles that would be very useful if I ever did die in the future. I then ran out of the airfield towards Navaya and looted all of the industrial loot spawns for more nails, getting lucky with a single box, and then... When I climbed the stairs of yet another industrial loot spawn, I came across the hidden gem that would change the course of the day. Dude, isn't a hacksaw a raid tool? Oh yes it is. It would take me a solid 30 minutes with a hacksaw to make it through a single gate. Not great against a clan of almost always active roof campers, but perfect for a single gate base and an offline owner. You know what one I'm talking about. Since I had the nails and raid equipment now on me, I ran off back towards Karmanovka to do some upgrades to my base, but you see I started to develop this little habit out of checking that tower base every single time I ran back home, and this just highlights how predictable the group really was. Oh my god, dude he's up there again. I mean, you, you cannot make it up, dude. These guys are on their roof every day, day in, day out. They're just there. That's all they do. As night set in, I made it back home, first depoting my loot and gathering planks for my two unfinished gates. And crafting one more wooden crate. You see, I was lacking storage after being raided, but before I went out to raid a base of my own, I waited for morning and ran straight back to our roof camping friends because I wanted to see what I could do against them. I wonder if he's back. Can you imagine? It's only been, I don't even know, 20, not even 20 minutes, 15 minutes since I was just here and capped one of them. The little rodents come up here and just strip his body. Bunch of dead zombies at the front door right there. So they may just come through that door right there every single time. No fucking way. They have crates up on the roof with just sniper kits right there. 
Now that I could confirm at least one member was online, I ran down the stairs and over to the tower, thrown in front of the front counter, and waited. I was waiting for a long time, and this player never left. You gotta understand, this was an extremely long wait. They were true roof campers, and eventually, they waited me out. That'll draw the guy on the roof's attention. Hey, 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 I don't... I wasn't taking any risks this close to the group's territory. For all I knew, this could be one of them. But right after killing this player, I started to get extreme lag spikes, and I started to question the timing. Bruh. Dude. Like, the amount of fucking lag. These guys lag switching? Dude, they are. They are. They are. They are. They are. Lag switching. Lag switching. Lag switching. Now, no, I don't actually think they were lag switching, but the timing did seem a little strange. I hadn't lagged once before this, and the lag continued to get worse as I moved uphill. Finally fucking dead? Bro, do you see this lag? That's got an AK. Oh dude, it's them. It is them. It's them. We try to kill this guy up on the roof. We don't have a ton of time and I can't leave this bag dropped anywhere for too long. Okay, game. I need you to work with me here. Game. Please. Please put the gun away. This lag was so horrific, I couldn't put my weapon away or pick anything up. Okay, okay. I can't take out my guns. Now all I'm saying is I hadn't died one time this entire adventure all the way up until this point. I couldn't switch weapons or do really anything. I felt a little robbed and now I was down another kit and all of the rest of the weapons and armor I had just gotten from this run. It was getting late. I mean very late. We're talking demon hours at this point, but I couldn't end my night like this. So again I ran back all the way to my base to complete my goal from earlier. I grabbed armor, a weapon and my hacksaw, and beelined straight to the base I had just found next to the airfield. All right, we're getting a little bit closer, 500 meters. Please only have one gate. Question is, are they online? Looks like that's the only storage piece that's in there. Okay, there's, there's, there's more. There's a lot more. The lock was finally broken and I was able to enter the base. At first, I didn't really know what I was looking at, but I had found two pieces of plastic explosives and everything else to make an improvised explosive device. Loads of ammo and weapons. And after sorting through the front room's loot, I went to the other room in hopes of finding more. Dude. This was the perfect raid, exactly what I needed to get back on track. Multiple pieces of storage and loads of weapons and ammo. I grabbed the first load of supplies and rushed it back to base. When I arrived, I depoted everything before heading out a second time for the rest of them. That's all we needed. Oh, okay. We got a bunch of storage today, man. We got that big wood box, got this gun rack, 
Got the med kit and a fridge. I was dead tired. Eyes bleeding and brain foggy as possible, but like I said, I had gathered so much. And with the fridge already placed in base as well as the wood storage and loads of raid supplies and weapons, I only needed to get this gun rack back and a few spare rifles before logging off extremely successful. On the return trip, I was only a few hundred meters from base and decided to do something so stupid, I could only chalk it up to being so extremely tired. No way. Could that be one of those guys? I don't know why I went straight to the body, bro. I didn't make a stash, no patrolling for other players. It was definitely a rookie mistake. And yet again, the Novod Tower boys had taken a gun rack kit from me and a few weapons and armor. I wasn't completely devastated, but I was really annoyed at myself. Why even shoot the guy? I should have just ran off to my base and been done for the day. But oh no, I died for the second time and lost a decent amount of loot because of it. Before logging off, I ran back home and made sure to grab the raid supplies and all my valuables before being done for the day, just in case again I was raided. The following morning I logged into an untouched base, but I did have a problem. I didn't have a whole lot of armor left over since I was killed with most of it the day prior. So I decided to hit the closest military base of Troitsko, not far away from me. Like usual, I stopped off to check our tower camping neighbors to find that they had significantly upgraded their roof, and unfortunately this may have been far too much for me to raid. They could have had so many gates inside, it would be next to impossible for me to gather enough to break in. I think that's the one time they're not on their roof. Pretty wild. Pretty wild. The run to Kamensk wouldn't be long, but first I had to stop off in a small town along the way and found a raided base. Base here. Right in the fortress house. Whoa. This raided base was another target of the Novod Tower group. They hit my base first and just continued on with this one. There had to be more in the area. I wanted a close raid to base because from what I could tell, this group would take the blame of any raid in the area. And anyone looking for revenge raiding would more than likely target the largest visible base. Pair that with the fact that they will be camping the roof the whole time and snipe anybody that comes into town. This will seal the deal and now I just needed to find armor and a target. Resets in like 8 minutes. But, they get a position up in this little mansion building right here. Give me... Oh, it's ruined. Fuck. All I needed was the vest, so I left the area, and now I just needed to find a raid target, which I was just about to stumble upon as I headed towards Karmanovka again. The fuck? That's like, somewhere in here. Oh my god, bro. It's just a frame. If I can get a detonator, if I can get like an alarm clock, we could loot that real quick. My next raid target. But first, I wanted to upgrade my base, and as I searched for items in my own town, well, there was a high likelihood I could find an alarm clock as well. I started by placing the new locker kit. Then I started to build the walls to block raiding from all but one exterior doorway. Every gate I added was a step further to making this base so expensive to raid, most groups couldn't get through. Okay. So, we finished off two frames down here, which on this server, walls don't take damage, so I'll 
finish those off later, but basically nobody can get through this one or that one. But we also have a gate. We have the whole building. Nobody can get in here unless they raid through the gate. With the entire bottom floor sealed off, I felt really good about it, and I could have just finished the planks right there and then. But I figured the whole town of Karmanovka wasn't fully searched. I could have found more supplies hidden somewhere or a base that I just hadn't noticed. Nails and a code lock. Look at that. Two pieces of storage placed in the back of some random shed near my base with code locks attached. This made me think that this was just a raid base for kits. And again, at this point in my town, it was only me here. This was the only thing I found. I had been raided before, and now that I built my base back up, they could be trying to repeat raid. We've got this whole downstairs finally safe where I don't have to, I don't have to worry, man. I don't, I don't have to worry about people camping in my building. Now it's just the outside. You see, I didn't have very much time to wait. I wanted to raid the freestanding tree base before they had the chance to finish the front gate. I went up into the loot room, grabbed the plastic explosives and a spare mag for my AK and made my way straight to the target base. loot was decent. An M4, different ammo types, nails, even sharpening stones. They were all great, but the main item I got was different. Some nails, you know, extra stuff, but the biggest thing is this. The only raid equipment inside, a driver like this would allow me to break open a code locked piece of storage, and with the regular screwdriver, I could steal that piece of storage afterwards for myself. Well, now that you know where I'm headed, I don't want you to get the wrong impression here, the storage wasn't loaded or anything, but I did steal it and place it in my own loot room. Immediately I headed back out, only minutes into searching I also found a train. This train had so many different sets of storage items, my luck was absolutely through the roof. Between everything I had accomplished today, I was only really missing a few key touches here. The last stop was the northeast airfield for medical supplies, and during the night I returned to base and logged off inside for the following morning. The following day was about filling my storages and messing with the Novod Tower Camper. So after I logged in, checked my base out, got some gear together and sorted my inventory, I ran straight over to the tower base to see if I could stir something up. But we're in a great position. I mean, that train had so much extra storage. We stole that one from over there. Shots going off. I better... I'm gonna, I'm gonna run out there, actually. I'm gonna go for that. Those SKS shots are coming from their base. Bro, these guys are just constantly firing from their rooftops. They don't change. They do not change. It's all they do, bro. This time I wanted to hang around the area after killing the first tower camper. There had to be more in town. So I ran down the hill into Novod, and it really didn't take too long to run across more of these guys. Bro, what? This fight was really weird. After killing two members of the group, more started to pour in. I noticed this base, and after climbing an apartment nearby, I noticed it was fully raided. These players had just come back from the raid, and now the rest of the group had shown up to clean up the situation. But you see, after hearing and seeing them run by, I ran out of the apartment and saw nothing. I even ran back to the body just to find it gone, fully stripped and nothing left. 
For some reason this group just vanished, and I really wasn't sure what to do at this point. I just ran from place to place looking for military fights and nothing ended up coming out of it. That is, until I started to explore the town just northeast of Karmanovka. Bro. That base is popping up all over the place, man. I ran from here all the way to the other end of town, finding yet another base in the large warehouse building just at the end of town. I was fully surrounded by groups now and felt the only option I had going forward was further base expansion. But how would I do that? I needed nails and I had no way of getting them besides looting. With my past luck at the northeast airfield and finding nails there, I decided to run down. But as I went through the airfield looting various sheds and different barracks, I wasn't getting lucky. That is, until I stumbled upon a tool that somebody must not have known was meant for raiding. No way. Let's get out of here. I think somebody didn't know that that was a raid tool. I moved as fast as possible to my base. There were so many other bases popping up around my town, there would definitely be a single gated one of these somewhere nearby. But the question was, which one? After getting back, I ran around my town and decided to check that same shed that I stole the storage from earlier. And thank God I did. No flag, one gate, and new storage items. The same shed from before in my town that I stole the last gun rack from. I was honestly worried about these guys raiding me again. This could be a potential raid base, and before they could react, I needed to break in. After 30 minutes of sawing away at the gate, I was finally in. There was only one locker unlocked. The others had code locks on them, so I grabbed everything inside and went back to my base to stash it away. I also grabbed a hatchet, screwdriver, and raid driver so I could steal the storage and open one more. When I got back, I had a decision to make. Which piece of storage do I open? I mean, I only had one raid driver, so I thought the last piece of storage from before was the best pick. It stood out, and the owners may store key cards, raid equipment, and other valuables inside. When you're raiding, sometimes there's this weird bug where you can't access the inventory of the storage item after picking the lock. So you have to leave the area and come back to fix it, and that's exactly what I did. This thing has to be bugged because I can't close it or open it. It says open. A couple more raid drivers meant loads of nails and base expansion, but also a bit of storage. I'm gonna take everything this base had. Shit. Okay, we gotta run this back. And we have two more raid drivers. You know what that means. We can get the rest of his storage. My storage was filling up really quickly, and I only had a fraction of the loot. Once everything was inside my base, I'd continue to go back and forth grabbing this owner's storage and placing all of it in my core loot room. I did this until there was absolutely nothing left. Okay, let's take you through this real quick, shall we? This is um, this is actually kind of crazy. One gate, two gates, three gates, right? Plus the two walls that are impenetrable, so nobody can get through these sides. It has to be over here. Fourth gate there. So if you get through four gates, you get to my food storage. And then the fifth gate. Look at this. I mean, that's <laughs> that's not too impressive, but there's there's a decent amount of stuff in here, man. Um, I'll take you through the loot in a second. There's also storage behind this net, meds, all that. I'm, I'm running out of space for storage. This is, uh, this is incredible, man. With so many gear sets, pieces of armor, and supplies, I was reaching riches with relative ease. I had plenty of nails for expansion, so I began to add more and more gates. Everything I added downstairs would make a raid more and more difficult. And after adding many walls, I got tired of building and decided to go over to Novot again. You see, I wanted to get into another fight with that group, and this time actually steal some loot. But I guarantee you there's a guy up on their tower. <laughs> I'm not suppressed right now, which is, you know, kind of garbage, but gonna have to do for now. I could have grabbed a few bottles, but I just kind of rushed out. I wanted to see if I could catch these guys somewhere. Unfortunately, it didn't seem like anyone was home, so I shifted my attention to the industrial section of Novot. 
and after scoping in, I found one of them looting. There's one right there. You know what, I might actually just stay here. This marked a pivotal moment for me during this adventure, another win in Novod, another kit taken from this tower group, and with all of my recent success I didn't really feel the need anymore to raid the tower itself. This group really had served a big purpose for me. It gave me the motivation to continue upgrading my defenses and begin to craft the endgame unraidable hidden away base in a small town. So after taking this player's kit I ran it back home and began building even more gates until my base was starting to near the end of its potential. I had so many gates already, but it wasn't quite finished, and in the process of continuing the building, I heard shots in the distance that definitely drew me out so I could go chase them. That shot was weird. Kinda sounded like it was up. Might go investigate, but need to see if we have any more 74U mags. I loaded a few spare mags and headed out. Not knowing exactly where the shots came from, as I went along, I heard more and more until I started to get pulled into a different direction. Dead guy right there. Look at this. Look at that compound, bro. I spent a while overwatching the area from a distance until the shots started to pop off again, but this time it was just a bit further into the woods. No way that's the tier 4 vault, right? Kind of sounds like it could be riffy. Okay, I'm gonna move back. Those smoke grenades are interesting. Oh, there's a base here. Are they raiding? Oh, yeah, they're raiding. Random fresh spawn coming back. 100% it's a raid, bro. Another one it was a different guy trying to jump me with a kitchen knife, bro. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I heard that dude crawling up. Get a Mosin. I would have been me dead if I had ran in there. With the amount of players running back to the location, I quickly looted all of the bodies. I then dipped before any more showed up. I didn't even care that this was a potential raid. I had enough supplies in my base, so I just left the base alone for somebody else to look through. And by the time I had made it back to base, night had set in. But for me, it was back to upgrading my defenses. I had just found yet another large group's base being built at a barn compound, and even more than before, I needed an unraidable base to survive. But pretty soon, the base was completed. Okay, now it's finished. <laughs> I've said that so many times, but we've got one gate, two gates, right? Three. Four. Now there's the fifth. Sixth. Seventh. And you gotta crawl in here. And eighth. And then you're into the core loot room. 
As you can see, this isn't a crazy massive base, but for a solo player on a server filled with big groups, I was fully satisfied with everything I had done. Held my own against some scummy roof campers, won multiple fights, and raided a couple of bases along the way. This all led up to the creation of a super secure loot room overflowing with everything I would possibly need going further into this wipe. My journey was nearing its end, my goal was complete, so I headed back out into the wild one last time, taking a few supplies I had gathered along the way to leave a small token of gratitude to our friendly roof camping neighbors. Okay, so now we gotta test my theory. I'm pretty sure territories block traps from being placed, like around enemy bases and things, so that's a little unfortunate, but I'm not sure, so I gotta test it. There's a flag right over here at this base. I'm gonna try it. Looks like it hasn't been raised yet, so I'm hoping they're offline. Oh, you... Okay. You can... You sure can. So I'm thinking one tripwire with the frag grenade behind that counter near the gate. I'm thinking the front entrance of the building, I'll put the pox grenade. And then the bear trap, I'm not sure. And I'm probably going to need a piece of clothing to throw on top of that. I should have grabbed one. But we'll be able to find that in the houses down here. I just need to scope their base again and make sure they're not currently online. Make this much easier. After scoping the tower out, I saw nobody in the area, so I looted for pieces of clothing to cover the bear trap and moved in to finish this adventure off. 